Hey guys, it's Big Dave here for Tales of Talara, and it's Monday, and you know that means it's time for Warfronts. This week on Warfronts, it's my level 23 warrior. This is a bit of a new character. I featured him once in the last maybe six months, but he is one of my new characters I'm picking up since uh, I am dropping my mage for the time being. So, uh, this is going to be kind of a weird episode, because this is the episode where... I essentially tell you I don't know what I'm doing with this guy. I have no earthly idea. I played him a little bit in an instant adventure before jumping in here to kind of get reacquainted with his attacks. But I have no idea what I'm doing. No idea whatsoever. Uh, this is my PvE spec, so I'm kind of looking for something more. I'm hoping that you warriors out there in the audience will tell me what the hot spec is. Uh, I know it's something to do with crazy electricity, so I'm guessing it's the one that has to do with stormy stuff. I don't even know. But I'm hoping that you guys will help to educate me, because this is a really, really poorly played game. Uh, really low damage numbers, just poor performance overall here uh, in this. This is probably the best thing that I do right here, which is uh, an uncontested grab of the Codex. Always love those, right? Nobody on the other team goes to the Codex. I am mercenaried over to the Guardians, which is unfortunate because the Defiants seem to be a pretty well put together team, and it always sucks when uh, you go over to the inferior team when you get mercenaried. So a uh, little bit bummed out about that, but for the most part, hey, it is what it is, right? So I do have to say, uh, I am playing Beastmaster, which is my uh, which is my uh, PVE spec. I have to say, I haven't played since they changed the Primal Companion model, the Greater Companion. That thing is awesome. He looks just like Battle Cat, and I think that is amazing. So that is pretty, pretty cool. I'm not gonna, uh, definitely not gonna, not gonna want to get rid of him if I do change from uh, Beastmaster spec. So uh, I guess that's really the big thing with this. There's not a lot to learn from this episode other than, you know, Know your limitations. Understand when you don't understand what the hell is going on. You know, I get all my basic commands, like I know what all my attacks do. I get the idea that this spec seems to be built on bleeds and stacking bleeds, and uh, and then that's great. But uh, that's really neither here nor there. Understanding that stuff again doesn't mean uh, that I automatically know how to put it together over on my other channel. I talked about the game Super Monday Night Combat this past week, and one of the things that I said about that game is that I'm leaving that game after playing about 200 matches in it, about 45 hours of gameplay, because I don't understand how to actually put together the knowledge that I have into a coherent gameplay strategy. And that's kind of the place I am with this guy right now. I understand the stuff that goes into this particular guy, but uh, I don't understand how to put those together into a successful thing. And the analogy over on that channel that I beat to death was the idea of a cake, right? You can understand the ingredients that go into a cake, but if you don't understand the proportions which those ingredients go in, then you're gonna make a shitty cake. You know, so that's the thing. You, you don't just need to understand the bits and pieces. You need to understand the amounts of those bits and pieces that you need to put into any given combat scenario. And I don't understand that on this spec. I know how to kill NPCs all day long. You know, I know how to grab up a bunch of NPCs and use my AoE attacks on them, my, uh, my frontal cone AoEs, and burn them down. You know, I got that stuff down, but I don't know how to translate this into a PvP scenario, so if you guys have any suggestions, uh, especially whatever the hot warrior stuff is in PvP right now, uh, I, I do plan to research that on my own. I'm not just asking you guys to tell me that, uh, but this was a harsh uh, awakening for me, a rude awakening, if you will, uh, a harsh reality uh, that, yeah, I just I don't have any idea how to play a warrior any longer. Uh, I could have probably jumped in to maybe a Black Garden and had a little bit of success, but that success would have been uh, it would have been obstructive. It, it would have uh, obscured the fact that I didn't understand what I was doing. Because I could have jumped into a black garden where there's a bunch of crowds, and I could have spammed my AoE abilities, and I could have probably done a lot of damage and thought I was doing a good job. So it actually turned out that I uh, turned out good that I ended up in this very low player count codex uh, because it exposed me for what I am, which is a complete and total fraud. Uh, <laughs> essentially, I don't understand how to play the warrior. So. Uh, I'm not going to show you guys this whole video because it's like 18 minutes long and there's really just no reason to put you through this entire thing. I'm eventually going to cut this. Uh, we'll talk a little bit 
about the goings on here, the future of uh, the channel a little bit before I move on. Uh, so right now, uh, you know, you guys know that I re-upped my subscription. I do subscribe in three month increments. So uh, you guys have me for another three months, uh, guaranteed another three months. Uh, I will endeavor to continue the weekly tradition of war fronts and, uh, you know, move forward. There are some other videos that I want to do. I would like to do a video about uh, Conquest, but first I need to actually get into Conquest and actually play it. I've, I've, since I'm abstaining from my mage, I really haven't touched Conquest at all. Uh, I'm kind of keeping that experience fresh for when my rogue hits 50. I am leveling my rogue. I think he's level 42 now. Um, I really haven't touched him during my, my little vacation here. You, you, those of you who don't know, I'm on vacation this week. Uh, I will be... Uh, going back to work on Wednesday of this week, and uh, then I will immediately only work one day and immediately go right back into my weekend. So uh, it was a weird setup. I just couldn't get that Wednesday off, so someone else already had vacation. So uh, I'm going back to work for one day and then going back off for uh, uh, the weekend. So a little bit weird, but, uh, yeah, you know, whatever. But uh, here I am talking about my life like you guys care, right? This is the YouTube. You guys care about the rift, right? So uh, you're going to see me get up here, struggle to get up. I'm finally so proud when I do get up, but I get ambushed by a rogue. Just got to love it. Got to love it. So again, the future of the channel, uh, definitely going to keep doing Warfronts on a regular basis. Uh, a couple of videos I do have uh, sort of a want to do. Uh, I don't know that I'll actually manage to accomplish them, but we'll see what happens. Uh, one of them is on Conquest, as I said. The other one is I would like to do a quick overview, uh, sort of a new player overview uh, a look at the changes that they've made to the character creation process. I went through and created a character the other day just to see some of the changes that they made a few patches ago. And I have to say I'm impressed with the way that they altered things. And I think it uh, really welcomes new players in. So that's something that I definitely want to uh, to do just a quick video on. Just sort of a sort of a critique or, or sort of just my thoughts on, on how they've changed the character creation process to uh, to be a little bit more welcoming. And I think that's a great thing. And uh, really only good things can come of that. So uh, I do want to do a video just sort of taking a quick look at that. So uh, these are some of the things I want to continue to do. Of course, Warfronts uh, will continue to be a uh, the, the mainstay of the channel. Uh, I will tell you guys that at some point I may consider combining this channel with my other channel. Um, I am more passionate, I think, about the other channel. Uh, just... Sorry to, to rain on your parade. Uh, I'm more passionate about my general variety gaming content. And uh, it's sometimes difficult keeping up two channels, two subscriber bases, that sort of stuff. Uh, so I may just roll that into my other channel. Uh, roll this into my other channel. Uh, I don't want to lose any of you guys over something like that. And if you choose to follow me over to that channel... That would be great. Uh, this is by far my more popular content. Uh, I, I, I definitely, I'm aware of that. Uh, the content that I do on my other channel gets very, very few views. Uh, but um, that's the stuff that I enjoy. And if I'm going to put, uh, you know, basically the amount of hours that would constitute a part-time job into this each and every week, uh, I'm going to put the, I'm going to put the focus on the stuff that I enjoy. You know, that's why I closed down talesoftalara.com. And uh, that's, you know, that's why I moved uh, to just the, uh, excuse me, just the one week, uh, you know, one video a week on this channel. Uh, I just, I enjoy that stuff a lot more uh, than I enjoy Rift. But I love, I love Rift. So don't get, don't take that the wrong way. I love dipping in for my two or three gameplay sessions of Rift that I manage to get in just about every week. And uh, I really, really love that. But I'm so much more passionate uh, about the rest of it, about the other games that I play and uh, exploring cheap and indie games. Uh, so that's just what that's just facts of life. I'm, I'm more passionate about that stuff. I would never want to leave this stuff behind. Uh, but one day in, uh, in, in the distant future, I'm talking about maybe by the end of the year, I might look into the idea of combining this channel with Big Dave is Cheap so that this would just become a feature of Big Dave is Cheap. Now, there are a lot more subscribers on this channel, almost twice as many subscribers here on this channel, uh, but this is a Rift channel, so I don't see any reason to combine my variety gaming content onto a Rift channel. So, uh, you know, some of you guys won't follow me, most certainly, and uh, that's fine. 
but uh, that's just something I'm gonna do for housekeeping. Right now, I like the setup the way it is. Uh, it, it works out. Uh, it is just a little bit more stressful having to keep up with two passwords, two log, you know, two logins, all that business. Uh, trying to keep two channels, you know, trying to uh, keep track of these two different channels and their comments, and try to respond and try to keep track of two different inboxes. It's just, it's just inefficient. And so uh, sometime by the end of the year, you will probably see this channel be folded into Big Dave is Cheap. So if you want to get a head start, go over to Big Dave is Cheap and subscribe to that channel today. I know many of you already do that, so I, I appreciate those of you that do. That's also going to be your best source to get news about what's going on. When I don't post a video or uh, have a video blackout for, you know, a week or something, I'm probably going to have posted something over there. I also have my Big Dave is Cheap Twitter. That's at Big Dave is Cheap. That is a good place to get news when I'm going to be on vacation, out of town, stuff like that. I also have BigDaveIsCheap.com. Really don't do anything on that these days. You know, I closed down Tales of Talara so that I could open up my Variety Gaming blog, and then I stopped using my Variety Gaming blog the same way I stopped using my Rift blog. So, uh, kind of funny, kind of funny, but I am dedicated to uh, at least putting up an article a week on that website going forward, so we'll see how that goes, right? We'll see how that goes. All right, guys, well, I managed to turn this into a lot more rambling than I had expected to. Uh, the long and short of this episode of Warfronts is, I don't know how to play Warrior, please help. I'm going to do some research on my own in the next week or so so that I can try to figure out the hot spec that all the kids are using these days. But uh, until then, any suggestions you guys want to give, it's, it would be great. I would be, uh, it would be greatly appreciated. I would be forever in your debt uh, if you could tell me what that spec is that everybody uses to absolutely kill me in the 40s bracket. All right, guys. I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.